Hey you guys, we're gonna make a gift basket and it's gonna be a lottery one. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this basket from the dollar store that we all know I love to use in a haul. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the sticker. Usually it's pretty quick and it does not leave any residue on the basket. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the bottom one as well and it's doesn't leave anything in the basket at all. Since I am gonna add a vinyl, I'm gonna clean it up with an alcohol wipe. Just where I'm adding the vinyl. It's gonna dry super fast, and it's just gonna allow for a cleaner basket. It's gonna dry up fast as well, so don't even be afraid of nothing when you're cleaning it with the alcohol. It's just so your basket is really nice and clean. I'm gonna go ahead and use this bingo since it goes with my theme. Look how cute this is. Isn't that adorable? I did it with my Cricut machine. And we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add the thing that's gonna hold it together. So all I'm gonna do is place it on top. I'm gonna grab my scraper and I'm gonna scrape everything just to make sure it holds very well. And this is how it's gonna hold on there. So if we mess it up, oh well, we messed it up. So now I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna place it on there slowly just to make sure where I want it. I want it right in the middle. So I gotta make sure it's right in the middle because that's where I want it. Now don't place it down unless you're ready. Once you place it down, you cannot lift it up. So let me go ahead and do that. I need to get a little, once you have it exactly where you want it, go ahead and grab your scraper and scrape it down. Use your hands as well so it won't lift until you're ready to lift. Once you have it nice and place, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna lift this up gently as gently as you can. And if it messes up like that, you somehow go. Go ahead and place it back down. Grab your scraper. And we're gonna do the side. So that way, it stays right where you need it. And it stood right exactly where I need it, and it looks gorgeous. So there you go. It is that simple to customize your box. And now we are ready to go ahead and put something. You wanna see it closer? You can. Look how cool that is. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so now once you have your bingo on here and the numbers and everything, we're gonna go ahead and get a little piece of styrofoam. They sell it at your dollar store. Put a little tissue on it. They sell it at your dollar store as well. This is just to cover the styrofoam. So I decided to do blue. Just like that. Uh, now I think just like that is super adorable. Look at how it just like pops up like it's a gift or something. Yeah, I think that's very cute. So I was going to use the shred paper, but I don't think I need it. I think that is very adorable. Believe it or not, it looks better in person. Look how cute that is. Like all messy. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. If I want to clean it up, I'll clean it up, but I don't think I want to. I have my glue gun running. <sighs> okay. Okay. So we're gonna get started. The first thing I have is a couple of the bingo because I thought that would be cute. And I have a Amazon gift card. So I'm gonna add the Amazon gift card first just to see how everything is gonna look. I have a couple of skewer sticks that I'm gonna reuse. So my garbage. Let me get my wire cutters, which you should always have on you. A good pair of wire cutters. And I'll leave the I use this one. That one's super tall. 
yeah this one looks good so all i'm gonna do is grab the back of the card which i'm not gonna show you add a little bit of glue on there add your skewer stick and let that dry and then let it dry grab your next um, skewer stick and I want these different sizes so I'm not mad if they're shorter if they're longer and I'm gonna start with the tallest bingo card that I have here I'm just gonna flip it around add my glue don't add your glue on the barcode because you need that to scan it add my skewer stick let it dry grab the next one i want them all different heights and different sizes so i might do some shorter and then some taller it all depends on how i want it to look let that dry now i am going to show you really quick how to make the little ones oh i have a little one right here i didn't even notice this one's pretty. I'm going to add the glue in the back. Let that dry. Now, if I need it shorter, I'm definitely going to put it shorter. So look at this one. This is going to be really cool. Let me grab one that's used. So I bought a couple of the dollar ones because I'm going to build one right now. I would show you, but I don't want to show you the back of the lottery card. A lot of people just, you know they scam people and they do bad things so so i'm gonna add one right there i'm gonna add another one right here all i'm using is my glue gun for this you can use tape definitely and how cool is that now I can go ahead and add a third one, but I think if I do, I'm going to make it with the real tall stick with this one so it can stand out. And then we're going to go ahead and start building our bingo card. So the Amazon one goes first. Let me see. Make this a little taller. I put the Amazon one first. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the bingo. Well, I think I'll put this one since it's the biggest one so it could stand in there. Right there. Oh, I think that is adorable. Now, I don't want one to outdo the other, so I'm going to do it like that. Then I'm going to put my bingo one to the side as well. Like so. And that is a little taller. See how I made them different sizes? So that's perfect. I'm going to go ahead and add this one in the back, but I will make it shorter. kind of want it to go like that short. So I am going to add the whole stick on here. No. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut one. I'm going to cut it in half, and that's how I'm going to add it. We're going to let that dry. And I think it's coming out super cute. I don't know if you guys want to go ahead and do this for... Oh, you know who asked me for this? I think it was Sandra. Was it Sandra that her, her son is turning 28, I think she said, or 29? And girl, this would be perfect for your son. Who wouldn't want an Amazon gift card with a bingo... A couple of bingo lottery tickets? I think that would make any... 28 year old especially if they went lucky sorry the glue kind of got to my hand look how cute it is coming out already now you can grab the bottom if you're scared it's gonna flip go ahead and grab it you know it all depends oh but i think it's coming out adorable so i'm gonna go ahead this is all the basket's gonna have so Make sure you put it exactly where you want it. 
Okay, so we are almost at the end. Oh my God, you guys, this is a cute basket. I wouldn't even mind getting this basket for me. You know, stay up, scratch a couple lottery. Oh, you know what I should definitely? I should add a quarter to the back of one. So let me go get a quarter. Now I have a quarter. Can you guys see it? I'm going to add it to the back of one of them, but I don't know which one yet. So let's wait and see. I want to add it. Or should I just throw it in the basket? No, that would look kind of wrong. What if I tape it to the basket? How would I add the quarter? Maybe I'll tape it to one of these if it doesn't make it too heavy. I can tape the quarter on there. Let me see if that'll hold the weight. Because I wouldn't want to, what if I hot glue it? I wonder if that'll hold. I mean, you know what? I'm going to hot glue the quarter. Just a little dot. And I'm going to glue it to the back of one of the cards. And it kind of does hold the weight, so I'm not mad at that. Just a little quarter. I'm going to show you too much. And let's go ahead and finish this off. So I am going to make another one. I think I'm going to make a shorter one to put all the way in the bottom, which will be the quarter one. Let me do that. That way the weight, it can hold the weight. And we'll see right now if it falls apart, it's fine. If it holds the weight even better, but I wanted to add a little quarter in there that way. Oh, and that is holding perfectly. It's not moving, it's it's perfect, so I'm gonna add another two tier right there. And I'm gonna add one that's already the worstly damaged one. But yeah, any teenager would love a gift like that, like this, any adult, any young guy, especially in their 20s and 30s. I'm telling you, this is a cute basket and they get to keep the basket with the thing on there and they could put other stuff on there you know nothing major so I'm gonna go ahead and make a single and then I'm gonna make a double putting the tape on the back letting that dry I'm gonna go make another this one's way too thick it's almost super long so I'll make a single out of this one but I'm gonna make it a little higher than that one the double hardly fits so we don't need to make two of the double but that's fine I'm gonna make another single and then one last double let that dry I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing in the back You can also use, if you want, glue dots. There's no crime in glue dots. Because I think this won't rip the card. Because I'm not putting any um, glue on the barcode. So let's go ahead and add this one. And make sure there's nothing on it. And I think I want to add it this way. And that actually looks really good. And I'm going to end it with this one on this side. Which looks even better. So how cute is this? Now, if you are mad that the bottom of it shows the sticks, go ahead and add more tissue if you prefer. Um, how would we add the tissue? Let me show you how to add the tissue. Let me get more tissue. And let's add some more of the same color tissue. Please don't go ahead and add another color I think the same color tissue would be nice so let's just pull it up gently and let's I'm gonna add the tissue around it like so just like if I was wrapping a little gift and this slide it in oh that looks even better than I thought 
Let me show you guys a close up and this is it. This is my lottery gift basket and it's going to be amazing. And it's going to be It's going to be for my husband's birthday from one of my sons, of course, from Antonio. He wanted um something. He wanted to give him so much, but I stopped him in that because if not, he would have gone crazy and started picking out so many things, which I'm so happy he loves. He's just like me. But look how cute that is. I'm just trying to give you a close-up. Isn't that so freaking cute? But yeah, there it is. You have your bingo gift basket, aka my super adorable. Let me go ahead and give you a real close-up. Sorry, the window. You know what? It's fine. I'll take a picture of it anyways. But yeah, I think it came out super cute, you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any ideas, tips, tricks, or tips. I would love to hear them all, like always. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you make your own. And until next time, bye, you guys.